everybody, so today we're gonna be making the craft bag for um, my goldfish written by Stephanie Barracks and so we're gonna be making these cute little goldfish guys. Um, this is what you'll get in your craft bag. You'll get the little egg carton, the tissue paper, and the eyes. And so you'll need glue and you'll also need some scissors as well, but you don't really need these. I just happen to use them. You can do it perfectly fine without them. Um, so first I took the tissue paper and so I wanted to start making the fins and so my tissue paper was a little bit m messy kind of scraps of it just because that's what I brought home to show you how to do the craft so yours will be a little neater than mine is and so I kind of just trimmed it up and got what I wanted. Um, I ended up just <laughs> taking two squares of the um, orange and two of the yellow for the little fins and so you can see I kind of glued them together first. I found that was the easiest way to do it because I'd made the goldfish before um, and it's the one that you can see on the craft instructions and I didn't glue it first and it got a little bit difficult. So if you're using more than one color I'd recommend gluing it first together. Um, and then I just cut up the fins how I wanted them cut up. Um, this is where I kind of use the scissors, and then I was like, ah, it'd be kind of cool to rip it. So then I ripped it into these kind of like little bits of his fin, and then I kind of folded it, and I don't know why I was folding it, but I, I tried to kind of like scrunch it up a little bit. Um, and then I trimmed the other fin, and I made it look like how I wanted that fin to look. Um, I made it look a little bit different than the other fin, just because I thought it was cool. And yeah, and so it kind of ended up like that, and then I took the glue and I glued the same kind of spot that I glued the two together. You can see because my glue is a bright blue where I ended up gluing. Um, and then I kind of took the two little, like there's two little divots kind of on the sides that are like even and I put, well, at least there was on mine, and I put the fins in those little divots so they kind of like stuck out when I sat up, like set them down. Um, and so I did that with both of them, both of the little fins and I put the yellow side down so that it was the one that was on top when he was flipped around so just make sure that you remember that that will be what it looks like yeah I thought his fins turned out pretty cute I liked them and I kind of scrunched them up into the little like cut out parts of the egg carton body and yeah and so then I grabbed the big part and I did the same thing I just glued them together first. Same kind of way that I did. It wasn't very even, but it doesn't need to be. And then I kind of trimmed it into the way I wanted it, but then I decided to rip it anyways. So don't know why I trimmed it in the first place, because you can really do whatever you want. It's tissue paper, so it's really easy to rip and do whatever you want. Um, that's just what I ended up doing. And I made the back tail bigger than the side tails, just so it kind of looked cute. And I only ripped the top because I thought that was kind of, I don't know, I thought it was fun. And so I put the tail into the other kind of bigger little cutout on the egg carton just because I thought that was nice. I had to add a bit more glue. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute to put it in there, but you can put it wherever because then there was like a flat space for the face at the beat front. And then I took the eyes and I glued the eyes on and you can kind of see I put a lot of glue on there. Helpful having blue colored glue for this, I guess. Um, and I stuck them right on there. And they were a little hard to stick on, so I ended up having to put more glue on. So it really kind of depends on what glue you have and how much you put on. Yeah, and then I thought he turned out really cute. And then I had all of this, like, random scraps of the tissue paper, so I actually just covered his entire head in glue. And I scrunched up all the little scraps and I just stuck them on his head. Um... And he has, like, hair now. Yeah, I mean, I had all these little scraps and I thought it was kind of nice to use and use them up. And so I did that because I thought it was kind of cute. And I ended up having to use a lot of glue and the glue was sticking to my hands. But yeah. And then I decided I wanted to give him mouth, so I grabbed a marker and I drew a little smile on him. So he's a happy goldfish. And yeah. So I think he turned out pretty cute. I quite like him. I'd love to see what you guys did, so make sure to send it to us and check out 
the movement activity and the steam activity and the story time and all of those things. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.